squad welcome back to the channel you guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful evening mm -hmm. whatever day it is i pray that you guys are blessed and that um you guys are enjoying your day mm -hmm. um today you guys we have some steaks some new york steaks with some homemade gravy this gravy is um was heavy whipping cream based so it's whipping cream based um cream based and um, I also have some ma homemade mashed potatoes and some asparagus <clears throat> and some um, extra gravy. So this is what we have, you guys, and um, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Okay. And let's get, get into it because we don't want the food to get cold. All right. So this is Waxing with Donisha in the family. And we ain't came to play. play. We, we be waxing, waxing every day, day. different foods, different, different ways. Food. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because it is the waxer squad. The waxer squad. The waxer, waxer, waxer squad. Okay. Babe, you want to say grace? Say grace, babe. Thank you for the food, God. Thank you, God, for loving kindness to turn the blessing. I pray, oh God, that as we go to heat, Father God, that you may cleanse our body, oh Father God. Wash us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you may touch. Oh God, each and one of us, oh God, that's around this table, oh God. Out of the way, even with Jesus, as you're about to eat this food, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so babe, mm -hmm. I made the asparagus crunchy because <laughs> it, it has its, let me see your plate, it has health benefits when it's crunchy. <laughs> and you guys, Clifton is just getting over a cold by the grace of God, and so if he sounds a little stuffier than normal or whatever or short his breath or his breathing harder that's why um so please don't put any of that in the comment section asking those questions because i just told you <laughs> yeah um and then uh they already come on to the winter no uh, we ain't worried about that i got it you know god is our healer and our redeemer it wasn't, was it? Okay, so chill out. Because it should be locked. So if the thing is locked, it should not never open. Yeah. It's only when it's unlocked. It's locked, right? Yeah. So it's not going to open. Because okay. it's not activated, the garage door. It's not activated. It's working fine. Babe, let me see his bus plate. I'll just give her three. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's dish out these steaks. Let me see your plate. Or you want to do it up here? Mm -mm. You want to stay there? Oh, no. Gotcha. Put it, put it. And then let me get one here. And I'll cut oh, one mashed potato. mashed potatoes. And then I'll cut one for Isabel as well. I'll cut that one for her. But I'm Woo. really not sure if Isabel's going to eat because she she ran back upstairs, y'all. She um is as well getting over something. So... Um, I don't know. Like, you want some mashed potatoes? Mm -hmm. You want some extra gravy? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mashed potatoes. Let me get it. New York steak. Looks like how. Is it um, done? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you guys, we give honor to God, who is the head of our life, and we thank Him for. Um, traveling mercies and his grace. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. We thank him for, let me see Isabel's plate so I can give her some. We thank him for traveling mercies and for and for his grace. Let me just keep this over here so I can give her. Yes. God has been good to us. He carried us all the way to New York and brought us back. Okay, Isabel, you want steak, right? Uh, yep. Okay, let me get you some. Yep, I do. I know. Huh? I said, yep, I did. Okay. Let me get it and let me cut it. Okay, I like how the steaks are not, like, overdone. Like, they're they're in good they're in good quality, huh? Yeah. I don't even really need to... I can just slice like that, and they are great. Great to go. So, you guys, what I want to tell you today is never give up, okay? 
Mm -hmm. If you have goals and you have dreams and you have things that God has put in you to do, don't give up and don't let nobody deter you from it. Listen, there might be things that are trending. There might be trending topics. Mm -hmm. There might be trending, um, uh, you know, there might just be a lot of things that are trending, right? And you might be persuaded to do what's trending and there's nothing wrong with doing what's I think this is mine, Elijah. There's nothing wrong with doing what's trending. There's some napkins over here, but I think this is mine now. There's nothing wrong with doing what's trending, right, every now and again. But you have to remember that God created you with a, with a unique set of, of gifts, okay? And he wants us to use them. Who would have thought that me or my son would have had a gift that God has given to us? He's gifted us. Um, in cooking, you know, when I think about my life as a woman and my family and everything, like this is real life. Like even though we're on camera and we're filming and we're eating with you guys, this is real life. Like my kids literally have to eat. My husband has to eat. We have to eat every single day because if we don't, you know what happens, you know, that's when you get malnourished and stuff like that. But mommy, I have a question. Um, I'm so excited to go to school because tomorrow, uh, I think, I think if uh, if I feel good or not feel good, that, that, that uh, then, then that's okay. I, I will still go to school. Yeah, we'll talk about that later, okay? <clears throat> okay. Eat your food. So, you know, God is good. And, like, when it comes to us doing this stuff, this stuff is, this is real life. And it's... It's nothing but God's mercy and his grace on me that gives me the strength to cook for my family. But not just cook, I'm filming it and I'm posting it, you know? Mm -hmm. And even if I wasn't filming it or anything. Even if I wasn't filming, even if I wasn't doing YouTube, even if I wasn't a blogger or social in social media, I was I would be doing something else, and I would still have to cook for my family. Mm -hmm. I would still have to cook for my family and myself. I'm gonna go my so it is by God's grace and mercy that I'm able to do this because not every woman woman can do this. Mm -mm. Um. What makes it more rewarding is when you guys come to me and you say thank you so much for giving me inspiration for cooking. Because I had read a comment one day that said, you are literally out here saving people's marriages. And when I seen that comment, it blew me away because it never dawned on me that by me just cooking and teaching other people how to, how to cook certain things, how I could be like helping them save their marriage. But it's so mm -hmm. true because food is a big, is an important part of our lives because we need it to nourish our bodies. And when a person can bring a nice dish to their table for their family, that those people feel appreciated. Those mm -hmm. people feel loved. And when people feel loved and appreciated, they are more likely to love you back. They're gonna show you that love back the way that you want it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Everybody don't want to eat fast food. Or cool. It's okay for a period of time, but who don't like a home cooked meal? Like, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I found the fat. You can eat it or you don't have to. It's up to you, baby. Yep, and you guys, this gravy has mushrooms and onions in it. Ugh. Uh, it's nice and creamy. Tastes so like it got good. cheese in it, but it don't. It's just so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the only thing I'll do differently is the. Okay, I'll, I'll put flour on next it. time instead of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. uh, I green now. Okay. Body slow. All right. Slow. There you go. Then it's slow. Careful, put it down. Pick it's it up. It's slippery. Can you get some more wet? Fresh potatoes already. Did you put pepper flakes in here? I'll just put it on top. That's what I'm tasting. Is that enough? Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And you know, guys, we used to eat fast food all the time. 
But God changed me and he told me, he said, he said, you need to stop cooking more. Mom, you remember when like, when I was like little in second grade in like, Mr. Garrett's class and how like if I got fours that entire week, you would buy, you would buy me McDonald's. Uh, like it was on a Friday. It was like a Pacific I day. think so. You wouldn't buy me no fast food that other week except Friday if I got four fours that entire week. I think week. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, but you would buy me a dessert and Miss Flurry. I would get you and Isabel some. Mm -hmm. If I got four fours that mm -hmm. entire week. Which I did. I actually did. Yeah. I have it. Yeah, my kids used to ask me to eat out all the time, but they don't anymore because they already know that ain't what we're doing. Because we have food at the house. We got food at the house. You just got to cook it. You know? Um, I don't cook every day, but I cook about four days a week. It's just not that specific, though. Yeah, I cook about four days a week. And then my husband cooks once. Elijah cooks once. So we shyly kind of kind of rotate, but I love cooking because I like knowing what's in my food. And when my husband cook, or my son be cooking, I be investigating like what y'all cooking, what y'all putting in it because I really am particular about my food. I I don't just eat anything for real. I got a big. So I gotta investigate like what's what you put in it. Mom, I got a big glob of that salt uh, of a salt grade, and it was hard. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I've seen you on Terrell's channel. You guys, my son went over to my brother's house the other day, more than flavor. Yesterday? Yeah, but I don't know when they're going to get this, so I said the other day. And he, and he cooked for him. Yes, baby. And he cooked for them, for him. And then he did a mukbang with him. And I heard you on that video say that I like to criticize and judge my mama's food. I be in the kitchen <laughs> judging her. And when he said it, I said, you know what, I should go in that room right now and jump in his chest. <laughs> that's exactly what he does for me. <laughs> Everything I make, he got something to say. Even if it's good, he got something to say. <laughs> but don't judge his food, because you judge his. <laughs> I have no problem with the reality. It's the problem, he, he got a problem when you judge his food. I don't got a problem with the reality of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you judge his food, then he has to take some time to sit by himself and think about it. He'll sit there and ponder on it, and he'll come around the corner in the hour saying, well, next time I'm going to just nap. So, Mommy. you guys, this tastes like... Mommy. This tastes like... This tastes like country Mom. fried steak. Oh, not the Texas Roadhouse steak. Which one is it? Is it the country fried steak that's made with steak, actual steak, or is it chicken? I have no clue. One of them, y'all. Y'all let me know. I think it's chicken. Because I think that's what I just made. I think I made mm. country fried steak. That's a pretty big thing. It's one of them. Where it's, it's made with steak. It's beef? Mm -hmm. One, it's either country fries, I, I forget the name. You buy this beef? Maybe yes. It's beef. Cooked perfectly too. I love the crunch and the asparagus and the taste. You got that butter on it. Mm, the fat tastes good. The butter is, um, and we need this beef. I love on you. And thank God I had three more steaks. Thank God I didn't make them. I just put them, I marin I seasoned them and put them in the freezer. Thank God I didn't make them. And I was like, me and Elijah are probably gonna eat one steak. Isabel half, or not even that, and Clifton might eat two or three. I don't need all these steaks. So I just put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So God is good. I'm thankful because this food is good. And as long as we've been doing YouTube, y'all, it don't get old because every video, new subscribers come. People ain't never seen us and never heard of us. So keep going with your gifts and your goals. Don't give up on your gifts and your goals because you never know who is watching you. Or who you're helping. 
or who you're helping. I don't care how many videos you put in. I don't care if you've yeah. been up here for 10 years. Keep going. If, that's, if this is where God have you, keep doing it. Don't ever let it get old. Sometimes you need to walk away a little for a little while to refresh yourself. But come on back um, because you don't know who's watching you. And all it takes is one video. One video to pop. And it can literally change your life, your life overnight. One off mm -hmm. of one video. Yeah, exactly, Mom. You know. One video can change your life forever in a good know, way. You know that some videos, like, calm and relaxing videos, like, ain't, like, okay. some, like, daddy's okay. kitchen, like, cooking food, ain't some else, like, cooking food. Oh. You know how, like, those cooking food, ain't some Babe, I'm staying down here on this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Those cooking food and yeah. some hours mm -hmm. like grandpa's kitchen and everything. Yeah. Like some I saw one comment saying that mm -hmm. when I was watching this man's video just cooking and if he just cooking and saying all these things about the sure. recipes and everything, mm -hmm. it actually cured me of like depression in that moment and some anxiety. That's what somebody was, said. Yeah, because I was dealing with a difficult time when my mother had recently passed away and just mm -hmm. watching your video just helped me and so I just take the mind off of it. Uh -huh. Yeah, like I just saw that on Grandpa's Kitchen. I'm like, wow. So there are really like people out there who are watching videos and just these calming, relaxing videos, just helping them mm -hmm. get a sense of home and feeling. Remember, I told you that a long time ago when Elijah was talking about a YouTube called Grandpa's Kitchen. He has millions of views. Like he, the, the, the actual grandpa, the one that used to cook anyway, he passed on a few years ago. Um, but before he had passed on, I had came, it was his channel, it hadn't had even a million views yet. It was, yeah, it, he had he didn't have like a like millions of subscribers yet. I I had called him early on and I would just watch it. I would sit on my late at night, I would come home, right? I'd come home from work or wherever, and I would lay on my couch. And I will watch Grandpa's Kitchen, and it, I'll fall asleep to it. And it really helped me too. Just listening to the sounds of the food and seeing all the flavor that they're putting the in the food, because they were it. they were Indian. They were um, Muslim. no, they were Hindu. They were from India. They were Hindus, and um, you know, Indi India sorry. food. India food is the best food, you know, because they have a lot of flavor, and that's where my inspiration for for uh seasonings come into play because the seat good job good eat your asparagus because the seasonings that i use in my food and you know my son is using in his food there it's a lot of flavor and the seasonings we use we were my, i didn't grow up with my mama using them seasoning my mama stuck to basic seasonings like johnny's oh, pepper. yeah and pepper and garlic powder onion powder um and maybe some pepper flakes and every now and again, some um, she never used pizza, some oregano or whatever, or and chili powder, you know. But she never used to use turmeric. Turmeric. Um, she never really used to use like smoked paprika and just all just to you know just throw all those things together, you know. Um, my husband, me and him, work so well together. Because my husband loves flavor. Because Jamaica, there is flavorful. Mm -hmm. My husband say flavory. He don't say flavorful. He say flavory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamaica is flavorful. They have a variety of different spices, and I love to use their spices in my oxtails because there's nothing like it. Their spices are unique. They're different, but they taste amazing. And so I love flavor. And um, this channel has really helped me because I've, you know, gotten used to it. Um, I literally learned how to cook on the channel. My son literally learned how to cook on the channel. My husband even got better at cooking on the channel. He got better at cooking his Jamaican food on the channel. He got better at frying chicken on the channel. 
he got better at cooking his rice on the channel. So, mm -hmm. consistency. I have to okay, eat it back. Consistency uh, pays off done. and wins in all things. So stay <coughs> consistent. Um, be yourself. Don't be somebody you're not. Be yourself. Are you done, Mom? And people will gravitate to you for who you are. And I got one thing that, and I actually, not just seen. Oh, see if it's still on? Because I got so many videos. Yeah, it's still on, mm -hmm. thankfully. And like next, <laughs> next right. month, next month, like before, on the Thanksgiving series, Mom. No, um, that's this month. That's this that's month? Tomorrow is November. It's going to start the Thanksgiving series? Mm -hmm. But no, like when we do, I don't know what we're doing. When we, when we do, I want to make a traditional Indian dish. I want to make some butter chicken. Okay. We can do that. Then I'll eat it. <laughs> now, all you gotta do is make some, learn how to make some naan too. Yeah, I saw a video on how to make naan. And we can do that too. And um, we can do that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sure can. Cause I want to see how it tastes. I want to see. It's good. Well, we already tasted butter chicken before, but we're I've made it before. Homemade. So not homemade, no. You made it in a box. If no, I I used the sauce from the store. I got the sauce, okay. and then I made the chicken and put seasoned the chicken, and then I just put the sauce on it. But I never made the but sauce from scratch. Mm -mm. I know how to make it from scratch. I'm gonna do my research first, so. All right, just take food was good. God is good. I ate everything. God is good. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you have any final words to say before we go? I was going to say something, but you know, Elijah kind of okay. made me forget what I was going to say. The food was cool, guys. Kind of enjoyed the food. Let's thank you, guys, for watching our video. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe, comment. Yeah. Like it, share it. <laughs> and if you guys would love to put this in the garbage. Mix some more dish with this. You can learn how to do it. I will mean, show you. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, so you guys, um, I like this. Six minutes. All right, good video. Lash, did you have something to say over here? Yeah, I just okay, come over here. And then hey you're gonna close this out. You're doing good. Um, anyway, hope you're doing good. Hoping you're staying blessed as always, being safe, being safe, especially around this month. Thanksgiving is coming up, so hopefully, hopefully, when I am well, I'm not about to say say this, but I'm gonna say this. Thanksgiving, well, we're not there yet, but this month is a time to be thankful for the many things. 
yeah. punk, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of like autumn. It's autumn coming up. This the winter's almost here, so we just have a lot of things to be thankful for, family members. Anyway, so what I want y'all to do is just say, just go to somebody. Just anybody you see, just say, just say small things go a long way. Just say, hey, I'm thankful for you. Just go to somebody random. Just say, I'm thankful for you because you don't know what they're doing. But it's always good. The smallest things have the biggest impact. So just go to somebody random, just a random person and say, I'm thankful for you. And, if they, and they don't even have to say anything back. Just go up to them and say, I'm thankful for you. And yeah, so this month coming up has just a lot of things to be thankful for. And I'm just thankful for everything I have. Amen. 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 All right, you guys. Well, you Amen. heard it from the kids and my hubby and me. And so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, man. And it was, we did it. It was another one. Another one. And we out. Peace.